Uber carry. The act of being carried by Ubers, whether it's because you lack levels in your basic hat or simply cannot do certain complicated strategies. Being Uber carried tends to be a target of mockery for certain parts in the Battlecats community. People sometimes would proudly claim that they are Uber carried but aren't ashamed of it. Sometimes other people would call out on others for being Uber carried because that means they are quote unquote bad at the game. Being a Battlecats player, Uber carry is a bad thing. Or is it? So you can't complete levels without the help of your Ubers, so a non-Uber strategy is too hard to pull off, or you just feel like bringing certain broken Ubers to make your progression faster and easier. And what's the bad thing about that? Ubers are in the game for a reason, they help you. So if it weren't because of self-imposed challenge or making guides, why bother limiting yourself from using it? Guide makers do no Ubers because using certain Ubers obviously would be a blocker for a lot of people who doesn't own specific Ubers. That's pretty much it. But when guide makers aren't making guides, they still like to use Ubers to clear stages too. You know, it's a common belief that guide makers loads the usage of Ubers. This is certainly not true. On the contrary, guide makers actually really enjoy testing Ubers to see their potential. Uh, also as a side note, in my JP save, I'm boosting through events and stories of legends by the help of my Ubers and I certainly wouldn't be able to go this far without my Ubers or intense grinding. So then why is Uber carry bad? The answer? It's not. In the core, there's nothing necessarily bad about using the units you own in order to win levels. On the other hand, it's also understandable that people dislike people who immensely abuses Uber in a show-off fashion. Or say if a certain person that finds the fun and the challenge of certain level disliking the act of cheesing or using certain Ubers that completely takes away the fun from the level. However, that really just stays as far as the personal dislike go. It's not something that you should see as universally bad or definitively bad. However, things definitely can go bad when Uber Carry evolves into Uber Dependent or Uber Fanatic. Perhaps Uber Dependent isn't exactly the correct choice of word, but I'll just stick with that. Uber Dependent are what I would say those who absolutely must bring an Uber to a level, not because they have to, but because they have the mindset that they just need to. They feel like they have completely no chance in winning any levels if there are less than 3 Ubers in the lineup. This is where this so-called Uber Carry becomes actually bad. When people refused to not bring Uber in a stage where none of their Ubers work well, or decided to bring more than necessary Ubers that fills the same role and ended up just being redundant in the stage, that's no good. They tend to overlook the potential of the power that non-Uber units have. They would look down upon rares and super rares and become rather ignorant of what units they have aside from their Ubers. For example, someone wouldn't even know how the likes of CanCan -Can and Seafarer have amazing stats that they can be used in general lineup and they think that they're only there to slow reds and freeze aliens which then they won't use cause then they refuse to use them since they probably have Peach Devils and Akira and claim that there's no reason to use super rares when they have these ubers. Another example of being uber dependent is when you're bringing 8 slow attacking ubers and 2 meat shields in gestalt decay, and then claiming that the stage is cancerous and is impossible to beat. Hello, have you heard of Paris? There's just a billion amount of ubers that doesn't work in gestalt, or doesn't work as effective as bringing certain non-ubers units. So when you copy a gestalt lineup and replace Paris and Camera with Catman and Misley, you're just making the stage harder on yourself, really. So yes, Uber carry when on an extreme level can be bad for the players themselves once they become Uber dependent, being stubborn and always view that more Ubers equals better lineup. This is certainly not true. What would be true is that a lineup that allows the usage of Ubers would be better than a strictly no Uber lineup. I think that's all I want to say. So yeah, in the end from what I see there's really nothing wrong about being Uber carried in itself. It's a game, it would be more fun if they can play without being pressured to not use Ubers at all, but at the same time it would also be better for for players to not have such a linear mindset that using non-Uber units equals bad. There's a balance in these things and so there's that. What do you guys think about the situation? Are there any points I'm missing or is arguably wrong? Do tell in the comments, uh, I'd like to hear your opinions on these. And for now, I'll see you guys next time. See ya!